All right, guys, Friday, April 27th. It is day five officially. We are here driving through Beverly Hills, crossing Wilshire, up northern, northern end of LA for a few meetings. Um, pretty standard. But today I wanted to, instead of doing my standard tech daily, what I was thinking of doing is the question I get a lot is, uh, questions about the startup space in Australia. So I wanted to do a quick listing off and mention of people, places, things, uh, extremely active in the space in Australian tech. Uh, for those of you who are interested in doing startups or looking for mentors, things like that. So I'm just gonna go through in no particular order. Uh, number one, of course, the uh, I think the, the most newsworthy would be uh, Nikki Shavak and Startmate, it's the incubator program that's modeled off of Y Combinator. So going from Sydney, you've got, in terms of incubators that you can realistically apply to, Startmate, uh, of course, has been doing it and has been getting a lot of traction in the press and with the companies, uh, improving each, each year with our classes. Uh, Kim Harris, who used to write for The Next Web um, Australia, he has started Push Start with a really solid um, group of mentors, which is great. So you've got Nikki and Kim doing the incubators in Sydney. Uh, you've got River City Labs up in Brisbane. You've got um, Angel Cube down in Melbourne, which just opened their first class. And then as a supplement to those, those programs, you have the very, very active angel investors that are usually involved in the funding of the incubators themselves. So you've got guys like uh, Stuart Richardson and Darcy down at Adventure Capital, which is kind of paired up with York Butter Factory, which is their incubator. Uh, up in Sydney, you have people like uh, Mick and Phil, Mick Lubinskis and uh, Phil Morrill from Pollenizer. Uh, they're, of course, been in the news a lot lately just because they have a, um, a very effective model with a proven success of Spreets with Dean McAvoy, which sold to Yahoo 7. So let's see, you got Pollenizer, and then you have um, a number of very, very active angels. So in that realm, you have people who, people like uh, Peter Davison, who was one of the original investors in PayPal. And he's uh, resurfaced as an active member of the Australian tech community with um, co-founding Fishburners, which is over in Ultimo, uh, which I believe is where Push Start, the class, is actually running from. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. I mean, it's 2.45, so. Let's see what else is there quickly. Anybody who's really keen to be involved in tech startups in Australia, um, in the short term, you're gonna want to ideally look to fundraise in the US, that's just one of those hard truths. Um, I would definitely say get involved with, um, certainly get a relationship going with the, uh, with the press. So in Australia, you're looking at Shoestring Launch, uh, shoestringstartups.com.au with, uh, with Matt Beachy. Uh, myself, obviously biased input there, uh, and then of course you've got startupsmart.com.au uh, with um, the editor over there is Oliver. You have uh, James Tuckerman from Manhill Online. Uh, BRW is um, a nice one for their their annual uh, rich list. If you uh, once you've started to get some serious traction, if you're lucky, you'll get in inducted into that list, and that's always one for uh, to frame. Uh, let's see, in, in, around that space, you also have Matt Berry, who's CEO of Freelancer, teaches at uh, University of Sydney, I believe, maybe in New South Wales. Uh, went to Stanford, did computer science, um, very active in the space. And then aside from that, you have, um, you know, if you look through uh, the mentor list on, on Push Start, on, which is Kim Harris's uh, website, definitely take a look at that. And um, that's pretty much it. Those are the main incubators. Those are the main um, kind of angel investors in the space. Uh, I forgot to mention Green Lane Digital. They're in North Sydney. Uh, they're also fairly active in the, uh, the whole world of Australian tech. And then, you know, Sydney Angels, Melbourne Angels, uh, Australian Technology Park, Future Capital, Dominic Carosa's outfit, uh, Innovation Bay, it's an invite. Um, pitch uh, group and I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna tag all of those people in the tags for this video and I'm gonna do this video probably once every six to twelve months so if there's anybody that I forgot or missed or your you should be on that list and I didn't include you 
Um, I certainly don't claim to know everything. I just want to have a, a, a very concise running list. So definitely shoot in the comments, let me know if there's something that I'm missing. And also, uh, the gentleman over at Australian Technology Park out in Redfern, they did a really, really impressive infographic about the Australian tech startup. It, it's mirrored over um, the transit lines map of Sydney. I definitely recommend taking a look at that as well. I believe they have a, an ongoing interest in maintaining that and updating that as well. So uh, we might, you know, I might overlap with them and, you know, basically update my video based on things that they've added to their map as well. So uh, that's the general outline. If you can't take an idea from a startup to a Series A uh, or a solid seed round traction with what I've just said, you probably shouldn't be at the game, no offense. Um, and the last two additions as they come to me, um, Orshi Porkanyi, who's doing uh, Women Entrepreneurs, Women and Entrepreneurs, uh, that's We Sydney, definitely take a look at that. And also um, the Co-Founda app, which is a project by our CEO at Shoestring, Matt Beachy, um, Angelo over at Vivo Cafe, who does the radio show, Eagle Waves Radio. Definitely, that'll probably realistically be an awesome resource as well for finding people to jump in and help out with projects on the site and EV activation. So that's six minutes, 6.30. Uh, I think that's pretty much all you'd really need. As I said before, send me any comments, send me information to update this, and we'll try to keep it current as a running uh, video update every six, six to 12 months so that new, new entrepreneurs have the latest resources uh, available. That's all for now.